Hello everyone, it's your boy, the lyrical warrior, Daddy Saj, for your mom Bo. <laughs> Today is the 1st of April 2020. Well, the reason for this video is uh, for me to share my personal experience with the new messenger of death called coronavirus. As some of you may know, I work at the emergency room. I'm a registered nurse and I take care of COVID-19 infected patients for the past three months. As you may know, coronavirus was new to the healthcare field and uh, people come in with coughing, sneezing, all kind of symptoms, no protective gear, we treated them thinking it was just cold or flu or something. There was no education, there was no public education, there was nothing about it even though it was in China but here we were like oh it's in China you know and uh, most of us got infected we didn't know, we did not even know and um, well as time goes by you know we got to understand that there is a new pandemic you know coronavirus and uh, we started you know putting together and providing uh, protective gears just you know as best as possible just to protect yourself uh, well, unfortunately for me, on uh, March 25th, I got seriously sick while at work, while at work, and I was rushed and admitted, and um, all my tests came back negative, my blood works, my white blood cell counts were normal, you know, kidney function, everything was normal, everything, and... Um, my coronavirus test was, uh, you know, it takes, the result comes back in three to five days. So I was discharged, you know, because best part of it was that I was asymptomatic. No sneezing, no coughing, no shortness of breath. My lungs x-ray were clear and uh, I was sent home. But as days go by, being home resting, I got worse and worse and worse. I could not walk. I could not talk. Even when my family called me from back home and friends, I was pretending like I was, you know, they know I was sick because the way I was talking, but, you know, it's okay. I'm bucking up. I'm just resting. But it was terrifying. In fact, the best thing that ever happened to me was one of my friends from London visited and asked to stay with me, you know, just for a couple of weeks. He was to go back to London. And I said, yeah, you can stay with me, you know. And I gave him, let him stay in one of my rooms, and um, he became a blessing, he turned out to be the greatest blessing to me, you know, I was so sick, I could not even get up to use the bathroom, or to go take, drink water, or get water from the fridge, or make food, get food, put food together, I could not even eat, he helped me, he stood with me 24 hours, because imagine, so sick going back to the hospital the most infected place in the world presently every emergency room especially in new york city which i know you know then i in that sick bed i said father i am a covenant child of god this temple was built for your purpose take me from this sick bed raise me up again like the land of judah to serve you, to use this moment to testify your glory, to bring praise unto your name, Father. I prayed. As the Bible says in James 5.14, it says, if anyone is sick, let's call on the elders of the church to pray and anoint that sick person. I texted my pastor, Dr. Festus Adiye, for Bond of Life Christian Center. I said, Daddy, I'm sick. He prayed for me. He informed all the other elders. They prayed for me. A few of my friends and close, you know, friends and family members, they prayed for me. I prayed. I said, God, let this not pass with me. One of my best verses in the Bible, Psalm 37, it says, Delight yourself also in the Lord, and he shall give you 
the desires of your heart. What was the desire of my heart? The only desire I had at that moment in that sick bed was, Father, raise me from the sick. Let the healing power, let the, heal, let the miracle of healing fall upon me. Father, that's all. That was my desire. <laughs> you know, it's something that you cannot explain. As you can see, I was sick, thinking I was, I, I'm, I'm done, like, I'm done. Yes, I was not coughing, sneezing, and uh, shortness of breath, and all of the symptoms, but for one reason, I was just paralyzed. Yes, weak. My, I was just paralyzed. I prayed, I cried, and my God answered. You know, in my sick bed, one of my colleagues, we all work, he's a nurse, he called me and said, Joe, you say you remember the lady, the, 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 the physician assistant, we all work together, that was sick that you were taken care of about three weeks ago. You say, you remember? I said, yeah, 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 yeah. He said, she just passed away yesterday. And I was like, what? I'm not better than her. I'm not nicer than her. That lady sacrificed all her life to heal the sick. Very nice person, very great, love a job, sold out, helping people, helping the sick. How can she die, leave a family, a beautiful family and children to suffer just to save lives? I said, God, God, have mercy on me. Stand, show your power of healing. I prayed and the worst Part of it all, I have to say, <clears throat> my results were not back. I don't know if I'm positive or even negative. But listen, do I care if I'm positive or negative? I deal with every day of my life COVID infected patients. So the chances of me getting infected is 9 out of 10. So this is not even a scramble about, oh, I'm not, or, or um, I am. No. It's about I need to get well. I need to show coronavirus. How dare you, coronavirus? I need to show you that I am a covenant child of God. You cannot pass with me. That's one of my, uh, 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 some, and 37, my best verse, he says, continue to say, he said, commit yourself to the Lord. Trust in the Lord. Trust in Him. And He shall bring it to pass. Bring what to pass? Coronavirus. You will pass. You will not pass with me. So be it. And so did. My God showed up. Today you, hear, you can hear me speak. Even two days ago, I could not even speak 10% of this. I was broken. As you can see, some of you know, I'm a big guy. I lost so much of weight. Weak. I could not even walk. I wobbled. You know, I just want to say coronavirus is real. I live in New York City. The highest, we have the highest infected cases of coronavirus in United States, over 85,000 people and counting. And then also, we have over 2,000 people already dead in New York City of, from, from coronavirus. So I'm telling you, it's not a joke. So for me, it was not social media or watching video or the news. I mean, I work in the front lines. So when I got infected, when I got sick, all I can see was death, but I denied it because I had faith. I'm a fervent Christian, and my faith is all I had. And I and I hold it, I grabbed it, and I and I believed it, and I said, "This is it." And my God stood by me. You know, to make it short, my result came back. As I'm feeling better now, and uh, I'm positive. <laughs> But um, the best part of it all is that I don't present any symptoms. My lungs are clear. X-ray came back. Everything is great. And um, I don't have any shortness of bread. No coughing, no sneezing, nothing. I'm still in quarantine, taking care of myself, resting enough. I'm good, getting treatment. Everything is great for me. I'm doing well. The sick bed is not for me. Soon I'll be back to work. Helping the sick, which I was born for. And I just want to thank everyone for their prayers. I just want to say thank you. Thank you. And I just want to thank every healthcare provider, doctors, nurses, CNAs, PCAs, home health aides, 
technicians. I just want to thank you all, leaving your families every day, going to hospitals, helping the sick, risking your lives. With all these protective gears, it's not enough. It's by the grace of God, you go in every day and come back home safe. I just want to thank you for your diligent job, for, for your passion to serve the sick. I just want to thank you. I just want to lift this moment to the God, my God and my King and Savior, Lord Jesus, as a testimony to glorify your name, Father, for saving me from this messenger of death. As a child of God, I just want to empower all of you children of God that you are born for greatness. Coronavirus will not pass with you. It will pass, but it will not pass with you. In Jesus' name, I thank you for watching. God bless you. In uh, English, as we say, see you soon. In French, we say, a bientôt. <laughs> in, uh, in Espanol, we say, hasta pronto. In my language, from Sierra Leone, we say, see you gisno. <laughs> thank you for watching. God bless you. Coronavirus is real.